Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this module, we're going to focus on the software to have an overview of the different parts of the software to program the Modicon M221. So, if we go to the presentation, in this part, in this video, we're going to see the programming tab. So, if we go now to the software, in order to access to the programming tab, we just need to click on the programming. And then if it's a new project, we are going to see this red icon. This one means that we have an error, okay, in the area where our program will be located. So here we have different areas, okay. We have, if we go to the presentation, you can see the proper name for all of them. We have the programming tree in the left corner. Then we have the elements, not only for ladder, but the elements that we can use for the ladder or for the instruction list. Then the programming area where we're going to work with our code. And then we have this view at the bottom that will indicate the properties of the elements that we select from the programming workspace or the, pro the programming tree. And then we have this zoom property. If we go back to the software, here you can see that you have the zoom, for example, I'm going to add this and we can add the zoom to zoom in, to zoom out. If we double click, uh, for example, in here and go into the final variable, Okay, you can see that at the bottom it changed the view and it will depend on the object that I'm going to work with. For example, this, this is a timer. You can see here that it changed depend on the element that I'm going to work with. Okay, later we're going to focus on all this element, but I, in this part of the video, I just want to, to see the different parts. Okay, so we have the elements that we can work with our code, the programming area, the properties window, the zoom in, zoom out, and here this part is very important. In the programming tab, we have uh, two main elements, which is the task and then the tools. The task is where our code is going to be executed, and then the tools are the elements that are going to be inside our programming code. So let's go back here. In the task, which is the the POUs as we call program organization unit that we can execute inside the task. Okay, there are some configurations that I want you to know. So if we go to the task, if we go behavior, we can see some of the behaviors that we can have on our PLC. So Let's start with the functional level. You can see here I have level 11. And if we go to the bottom, we have level 1. So if, we, if I select level 1, it means that the entire application okay, will be related to this so machine basic, which is the previous version of the machine expert. It's the former name. So, the level will indicate the functionalities that we have in our program that we're going to work with. So if you can see here, I start with level one, which is the description here. Then in this version, you can see that we have the PTO functionalities and we can continue and we can see all the things that we that we have on the software. So in this part, my recommendation is always check the behavior of your program and use the latest function level okay once you select that you need to apply then we have the fallback behavior so we can use this to go to the behaviors to go to fallback or just to maintain the values and then here we have the start starting mode that so we have different behaviors so probably this one will be one of the best ones so you can 
power off and power on again is starting run otherwise you start with the previous state or you can indicate a stop and this one unconditional start in run it is related with the battery so if you don't have the battery probably it wouldn't go to run okay and if you select if you don't have the battery it goes directly to starting run um, for the explanation on this one okay can be found in here okay you can see here the unconditional start run the controller will be the start the application even if the controller battery is absent or is discharged okay so this one is something important that you need to know by default you can use the starting run so if we go back to the press to the application okay then we have the watchdog you can predefine it at the value that you want once you have confirmed all this you can apply it is saved and now we have the master task the master task is the task that will have our code okay that will be executed so if we click on the master task you can see here that it has two different modes we have normal mode and the period one which is the difference between us these two okay so the normal mode is basically act like a free wheeling so when the plc start the cycle after it finished the cycle is start once again and it doesn't matter the period so if we had this period for example um, 100 okay even if the execution of the code is less than 100 millisecond it waits for this in order to start the new scan okay so you can apply to it then we have the periodic that if you don't have any task in here you shouldn't be able to change but once you have something here you should be able to change this okay so what I want you to know is to that in order to change the behavior or how the PLC is going to work you just need to go to programming task behavior change this configuration and then here the master task you can configure how is going to be the scan okay later we're gonna get in detail for all this element so don't get worried about this we're gonna talk about that later so let me just go back to the presentation and see if there is something missing okay okay perfect this is a good tip so inside our program okay if we go to tools there are some information that you can use in your code you have the system bit and system war this information can give us this system war and system bit can give us information about the actual status of the plc about the task or the status of the plc and the different elements so this is a good tip if you want to check the last scan you can use this in your software to check it if we continue with this already mentioned this so now it's your turn to practice how to get access to the configuration select the behavior as a condition on starting run select the highest level for our plc and select the master tags as a different period okay not the normal not the standard just select the period and then predefine this value that you have in here or another one that you want okay so i believe this is it for this part later we're going to see all the details so if you have any questions or any doubts just give us a call or contact us by email and that's it so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.